Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Bree coming to you. We're coming to you live from Battle Creek. We're gonna take just a test, so I got me a weed bin, so when I get the urge to smoke these, I can puff it. Man, laundry day is crazy. We be having like five big garbage bags full of clothes. All his uniforms. <clears throat> For his business, <laughs> Mister. I love that old man. He over here. Uh, for him to be so small, he cocky. That little man is a giant inside. <laughs> Y'all women, now I know what y'all was going through with men when they was locked up away from their men and all other type of stuff and probably in there because of their men. It just, this love stuff is crazy. You be like, I'm leaving, I'm gone. Ain't nobody going over. <laughs> I love him. You don't know I talk about him all the time to y'all. <laughs> he got this funny little walk. It be cracking me up. <laughs> Man. I I need my pen. Ain't hey, that weed pen is good? I need my dope. Shout out to Mitten and Strike Plus. Thank you for making it. Like Tupac say, you are appreciated. Hey, I went to the dispensary today. And I told them I made a commercial. <laughs> Y'all, I am so silly and I'll be coming up with all type of ideas. <coughs> hey, give me a book in one of these. That book be so good. <laughs> I had to tell you all the details. <laughs> oh, man. Life is um, an adventure. And I know why they came up with that story called The Ventures and Odyssey in Vancouver, B.C. And I was trying to think where that was at. That's Colorado Springs. I knew I was going to remember it. I just couldn't remember it then when I was talking about it. It's a story. It's they they tell stories in a book of the Bible, and they make characters. Shout out to y'all, uh, Vancouver, BC, Odyssey, Colorado.
Colorado Springs, Colorado. I used to listen to him when I was a little girl. And I'm not gonna let nothing have me in hatred towards nobody. You know, it's people that got away with raping me out in the streets. Um, one time I was about to get robbed bad and run down the street butt naked, okay, and run into the ice glass place. Man, it goes down in the streets. If you ain't ready for the streets and you ready to play with the devil and dance with the devil, don't go out to them streets. I'm telling you, them streets will eat you up. There's hungry wolves out there and they dressed in sheep clothing and they ready to pimp you, take you to the stores and sell you and tell you whatever is going to be dwelling in you as far as when they pump you up with drugs I'm staying in the house okay I'm going to church I'm speaking to church I need to call Mia shout out to Mia Cox that's my baby now, when I, I was down, she was there. That was some real stuff. I was on drugs, and I needed somewhere to put my clothes. And I carried my Bible everywhere I went. I was trying not to do stuff that I didn't want to do for drugs and everything. And I kept my Bible with me. And that's why I couldn't smoke, because... God was not letting me go. Okay. He wouldn't let me go to <clears throat> prison again. He wasn't letting me uh, go to the prison of hell. Spell that you're going to dwell in the tales of the street life. Those who live out in the streets, I love you. But the matter of the fact is, if you doing stuff that go against God... I don't care how much you say he understand. He understand, but he don't understand. Because if you a child of God, you is not supposed to be feeding nobody else something that you know is deteriorating them just for filthy riches on this earth. Some shoes and a nice car and stuff you rather, rather poison and kill people. That is not cool. Where is the love? Come on now. If we need money and all this stuff, God fed, Jesus fed, the whole nation with two fish and five loaves of bread. We need to pray more and we need to believe more. We need to stop playing God's part, trying to make stuff happen. I guarantee you, if you go to work and you sow a seed into the ground with T.D. Jakes Ministry or different places that really feed the people and encourage you every morning, and you plant your seed, and I don't care how tough it looks, God is going to make a way. He respects that. He is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. I'm trying to tell y'all something. The mark of the beast is his drugs and his money. The devil will have you compromised and doing all type of stuff just so you can have what is enslaving you with the mark of the beast. That car you riding in that came from drug money, that's the mark of the beast. You done sold your soul to the devil and didn't even know it. See, when I went to jail this time, I got so in tune with the Holy Spirit, he showed me where I was going wrong. But he showed me that he was going to get the glory. And he told me not to tell on nobody. You know, he said, don't tell on nobody. You want somebody to tell on you, and you know what you be doing or what you done did. And I thought about it and said, no, sir. 
you know, you got to judge now that she be judging the same measure. Why people be out here telling on other people and doing stuff wrong, your dang on self. You better get ready to watch out for God's rapture. Because you're going to feel his wrath. You know, yeah, somebody else doing something wrong. But just because you got caught up don't mean you got to tell on them. Is you going to tell on yourself? Hmm. What all you ain't ever get caught up with, but it was by the grace of God. Okay. Everybody got to play their part. The police is the police. Okay. And we are the people. We are the people of the streets. Okay. If we can help in our community to make it a better place, we need to be trying to figure out something. Because the, the no offense, the law is not doing it not for real they on the street size too it's a lot of compromising been going on in, 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 in these jails and these prisons all this stuff God is exposing all this mess to me and I'm going to tell it to you it has reached up to the heavens all the hell that's going on on this earth God is more close to coming back than y'all know and I'm telling you, he gonna come like a thief in the night. Where it talk about in the New Testament that uh, two people will be in the field, want to come up missing. He was talking about the funerals. Hello, that people was gonna be dying. These is uh, pro 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 uh, prophecies that already done took place. Okay, two people be at the store. One person gets sick, go to the hospital, they dying. They one of the ones that came up missing. Okay. And them aliens is real too, and they is not your friend. Okay. God got angels. The fallen angels, I believe, is them aliens. You know what I'm saying? We don't got to worry about none of that stuff because we covered by the blood of Jesus. That's why it's important for y'all to know about the blood. See, you can read that Bible all day. If you're not pleading that blood, you ain't got no protection over your life, and you in trouble. This is the stuff that God be talking to me about and, and, and telling me, and I be listening to him. And then I do a self-evaluation to make sure I'm not doing none of them things that's displeasing to him. And when I see that I am, I make it my business to ask him to forgive me and to help me like with these nasty cigarettes. Children, do not pick up these cigarettes at all, okay? They cause you all type of headaches and hell hell you catch hell with your cigarettes leave them alone when you 18 you can get you a vape okay and don't do it just to get high you know what i'm saying just to have fun and be cool if it helps you like medicine use it see i got a lot of indian in me that's why i'm waiting for my dna and stuff to come back because i i, I want to go on the reservation Okay, and show them how to really powwow. It's called the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost powwow. Okay, this is not no game. We living in the last evil days. Y'all need to wake up because for those who are falling asleep, it's getting deeper in despair and drugs and you think it's cool and you think it's fun and, and, and the devil got you thinking that it's cute and it's not. To have sex with all these different people for have to get some dope. No, this gonna kill you. No, you just tearing yourself all apart, baby. My heart go out to y'all for real. I done been there where people done took advantage of me. Okay, I was in sex trafficking by some smiley faces that said they was my friends and thought because they was football players for UT State that I, uh, I was popular. Yeah, I was popular to them to sell me to somebody in California at a whole house, okay? But when they seen that I wasn't going for that, okay, they left me stranded in California, but I made it. Never would have made it without you. Marvin Sapp, I know y'all know that song. That's my motto. That's why when I took my uh, ID, 
my ID picture. I got San Francisco on that shirt. I'm wearing it on my head now. That was the place where I was in sex trafficking, kidnapped by a Chinese man. But now I wear San Francisco on my head. It's a shirt. It was too little for me, so I turned it into a turban. I guess that's what y'all call it, or one of them African scarves. Yep, and I took my photo like that, and it came out beautiful. I just want to thank God for mercy and grace, not just for me, but for y'all, because y'all need that mercy and grace right now. I do too. We all do. We need mercy and grace because we have just been, and I put myself out there too, we have been living ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Going against the grain of God. You know what I'm saying? The one that has made us who was, is, and is to come. Okay? That has control over your life, of your eternal life or eternal punishment. Okay? We got to quit compromising, y'all. That goes for me and everybody else, too. God called me into ministry, and I just have to come boldly with my weed pen, my cigarette, and all that. I got to do what God tell me to do. I'm not going to be like Jonah no more. I was a running away Jonah. I knew God called me into ministry a long time ago. Hands laid on ordained. Okay. This is not nothing to be prideful about as far as in boastfulness and, 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 and all that. But prideful as in Jesus Christ called me. And as that's my pride and joy to share my story and my testimony. You know what I'm saying? And what thus saith the Lord say. No man knows the hour or the time. So before you say, if you was to die right now, where would you be going? What is you doing? Is you doing everything that goes against love? But hatred, lying, stealing, cheating, killing, deceiving, that's all trickery work of the devil. You know what I'm saying? And if you're doing that stuff, you are letting the devil take over you and use you. I have to tell you that. Pride gets you nowhere. God give grace to the humble and resist the proud. Lately, God has been showing me that the people that has been done done has done stuff to me and for real done stuff their lives are shattering it looked like everything was so peaceful and happy go lucky for them but now they reaping the backside of the blessing see god bless me with that money and and, and he told me to bless whoever he tell and i did he didn't tell me whether they was going to use me or have plots and all that stuff. He just told me to get ready to give. So out of that 253000 I was ready to give. And I did what my Heavenly Father said. And he's going to bless me. I sowed some crazy seeds. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, some was taken from me. But it wasn't taken from me, it was taken from D, and D is going to give it back to me and Lee. And that's God Almighty. I asked him back for everything that the Lucas has eaten, years the Lucas has eaten. Okay, God is about to restore back to me. And I want to be a blessing to my hometown as a minister, to be honest, loyal, dedicated. And be about my brothers and sisters keeping. It's your girl, Miss Blue, coming to you. We're coming to you live from Battle Creek. And I promise you, we're going to take this across the globe. How deep is your love for God? Is you going to keep killing people with that mess y'all selling? Don't nobody got to tell on you. You're telling on yourself to God, saying, I sold my soul to the devil. Just so I could have nice stuff instead of sacrificing and being obedient and waiting on you. The devil tried to get me to go back in them stores and stuff. Yes, he did. I had to check myself. And somebody else helped me too. I ain't going to say his name, but he helped me when I seen him. 
and he loaned me some money. I paid him back, and I had got him some stuff. But God said, "Uh uh, you ain't going backwards. Shake the devil off." And I shook that devil off in the name of Jesus. So then, that sucker is a cockroach under my foot. Do y'all hear me? I am not letting up on the devil. He did so much stuff to me. <coughs> Growing up as a child, as I think about it, that's why I got beat and everything. He was trying to get me to be hard, and, and I was trying to hurt. God had to catch me. But it's all good. Because God was in control the whole time. It's your girl, Miss Bree, coming to you. We're coming to you live from Battle Creek. And I promise you, we're going to take this across the park. Peace, peace.